women's MMA has not been around for nearly as long as the men's side at the top level. But for this video, we're going to show you a series of KOs that really puts the game's progression into perspective. These are the scariest knockouts in women's MMA. This first one kicks us off with an almighty bang. Prior to her time in the UFC, Veronica Macedo, now Veronica Hardy after marrying Dan Hardy, managed to score her biggest viral moment with this thunderous head kick finish on the regional scene. The setup on this one was absolutely perfect, but man, that low thudding noise the kick made on its impact? Just a different level of brutal. There's no getting up from a shot like that, a 10 out of 10 KO to start this video off. Paige Van Zandt didn't exactly set the world on fire during her time in the UFC. Sure, her star power was always there, but the results in the cage just never did catch up. But on this night, PVZ truly managed to tie it all together, scoring an amazing switch kick KO on Beck Rawlings. Paige was always known for her toughness, but the athleticism on display here was pretty damn impressive. Sure, she never managed to top this beautiful KO, but hey, it's still one hell of a highlight. This one right here is a classic example of precision punching at its finest. When you have the ability to time your opponent, you don't need to land with major power. And that's what we saw here. This fighter took advantage of her target's forward pressure, landing a deft uppercut in close, and got her hand raised for it. Technical brilliance on display. She might be within touching distance of a flyweight title shot now, but during her days on the regional scene, Erin Blanchfield was a relative unknown who got a major boost thanks to this remarkable head kick finish. The timing on this one was perfect, and it stands as further proof of Blanchfield's well-roundedness. Sure, she's like a female Khabib when she gets a hold of you, but don't sleep on her striking. Molly McCann had already shot to worldwide fame with her stunning spinning elbow KO of Luana Carolina, and naturally, fan expectation was pretty high when she made her walk to face Hannah Goldie at UFC London. So when McCann followed up with yet another spinning elbow that set up a finish, the crowd went absolutely hysterical. Another highlight reel moment for this massive fan favorite. Is there a more definitive way to get a win than beating someone at their own game? Well, when Amanda Nunez came face to face with Holly Holm for the bantamweight crown, fans expected a matchup of great strikers. What we got in the end was Nunez nailing Holm on her own trademark head kick in the very first round. That's one hell of a statement right there. But hey, that's why she's the GOAT. Winning UFC gold is a big deal no matter how it happens. But to do what Zhang Weili managed to do against Jessica Andrade, that's just another level of special. Andrade was seen as the most physically imposing fighter in the entire division. But when she got in there with Zhang, the Chinese contender ragdolled her, making a mockery of her strength through a tie clinch masterpiece. This wasn't even close. One of the most impressive title winning performances you will ever see. What happens when two unstoppable forces collide inside the cage? Well, more often than not, it doesn't last long. And when Amanda Nunez met the decade-long unbeaten Chris Cyborg at 145 pounds, the resulting fight was like watching a thunderstorm. Despite being a huge underdog, Nunez took over early, battering Cyborg repeatedly before finishing her with a devastating overhand shot, a star-making performance for a champion who was already revered by the masses. Valentina Shevchenko might be known as one of women's MMA's greatest ever talents. But trust us, she was a beast long before she set foot in the octagon, and this head kick finish proves that. After setting up her opponent with some rapid body kicks, the bullet changed course, aiming up high and finding home with a devastating roundhouse that left her opponent totally out of it. Shevchenko thankfully didn't need to follow up with punches, because let's be real, this fight was 100% done. Oh, this one is all kinds of nasty. After stunning her opponent with a head kick that left her on shaky legs, this absolute powerhouse landed a straight punch that stiffened its target like a board. She then added another super necessary follow-up punch as her opponent dropped just for good measure. What do you think, guys? Is that the most brutal KO we've had so far? It's definitely in the running anyway. 
Just because it's an amateur bout, it doesn't mean that the skill level is low. This was one incredible piece of striking magic, a head kick that came with little to no telegraphing, set up to absolute perfection to catch its target totally unaware, and the connection with the end of the foot was a thing of beauty. This was a knockout that would not look out of place in the highest levels of the UFC. It just goes to show how much talent can be found from top to bottom in the sport of mixed martial arts. This one just looked like a total mismatch, like one of these fighters had absolutely no business being in the same cage as the other. And to be honest, when this barrage started and the victim's total lack of intelligent defense became clear, there's an argument that the ref should have jumped in to stop it sooner. But in the end, this poor fighter was beaten badly, and it took her to finally hit the canvas for the ref to get the bright idea of jumping in and saving her. Just a vicious beating in every sense of the word. Another pre-UFC highlight comes in next, with the future UFC bantamweight queen Holly Holm. And man, she has had some amazing head kicks in her career, but this one right here might just be the best of the lot. It was a finish that came after she showed her opponent her hands, just to set up this sneakily effective kick over the top. Remember, she was a professional boxer first and foremost, and the fact that she developed one of MMA's most legendary kicks says a lot. If you're looking for the most savage head kick of Valentina Shevchenko's career, this is it. Her fight against Jessica I was always going to be one-way traffic, but man, she just lured the title challenger into a trap like it was a piece of cake, and the resulting finish was one of the most perfect head kicks in the history of women's MMA. We already knew that Valentina was good, but this victory sent the flyweight queen's hype train into total overdrive. The technique was perfect, the connection was clean, and the results were totally inarguable. If you're looking for the exact moment that people started taking Joanna Yudracek very, very seriously, it was her title-winning performance against Carla Esparza. Sure, Carla has proven herself to be a very good fighter, but there was a massive gulf in quality between these two on the feet. And when Joanna smelled blood, she moved in for the finish with one of the most violent barrages imaginable, landing shot after shot on the helpless Esparza before she slumped to the mat. Little did we know that this divisional goat would go on to rule this weight class for many fights after this. Holly Holm is one of the most decorated strikers in women's MMA, a multiple-time boxing world champion who managed to replicate her success in mixed martial arts by winning UFC gold. For some time, though, Beth Correa seemed to think that taunting this elite striker mid-fight was a good idea. As it turned out, it wasn't, and within seconds of trying to provoke Holm, she was eating a massive head kick right to the dome. That's some instant karma right there, folks. We got a real ugly one coming in next, a deft display of powerful punching that led to a knockdown and in truth probably should have caused the stoppage. But in that short space of time between the drop and the referee's intervention, this fighter managed to follow up with a series of brutal hammer fists, closing the show with extra style points. Although, to be honest, those extra shots were probably not that necessary. MMA fighters don't get paid by the minute, and this next KO illustrates exactly how quickly someone's fortunes can turn if they get overzealous. This fight had barely gone 10 seconds, but it became clear that one of these women was advancing a little too eagerly, showing holes in her defense that a competent striker could take advantage of. And that's exactly what happened. A spinning back fist countered her movement perfectly, and the ground and pound shots that came afterward brought her night to a rapid conclusion. And finally, we come to one of the most dramatic head kick impacts you will ever see. This shot came from another bout on the amateur level, but with an end result like this, you would never guess it. This head kick was perfectly set up, perfectly executed, but man, the way it landed and sent its target flying? Yeah, that's a scary impact right there. It was almost like a current of electricity went through her body as the kick landed. Nasty. 